Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to the video about the best rackets of 2019. It's the yearly tennis nerd gear of the year. 2019 was a busy year for tennis nerd. The competition in the marketplace is increasing for both strings and rackets. More releases at a higher rate, simply tough to keep up for us. Uh, it's probably even tougher for most rec players. Many companies send us demos for review, but we often have to buy rackets or trade rackets uh, to get a racket for review. No matter how we get the racket or string, we will always be unbiased in our opinion. That, that's our promise to you. It's the whole point of Tennis Nerd. We're not a shop, it's just a small reminder of what we are and what we're about. Now let's get to what we're here for. What are the best rackets of 2019 according to Tennis Nerd? 2019 brought back plusher tight pattern rackets 1820 low stiffness ratings they're still going strong despite the increased pace and spin of tennis players simply love being in control of their shots and some flex does not only improve your connection to the ball but also comfort so more and more players have been suffering from tennis elbow with these stiffer frames and strings so i'm really happy that the racket industry is moving in this direction it surely seems to be a trend not all racket companies are following it but i think it is a sensible approach i think we really have to think about comfort first and injury prevention and then how we can maximize our game after that so i uh, it's a sensible direction for the racket industry and i hope we're gonna see more impressive frames with more comfort in 2020. first of all i want to say that this is not a list so it's not uh i don't have one specific racket i think it's the best racket of the year these are the top ones in no particular order the wilson clash the clash had the most impressive launch campaign when it comes to marketing with the car dazzle prototype that looked and played great the idea of making a powerful racket with a thick beam with a very low stiffness rating was quite unique so i definitely think that the clash wins the innovation category i tested the clash tour the clash 100 and the clash 98 they're all spin friendly relatively powerful easy on the arm the 98 will give you a bit more control since it's a smaller head size while the tour is the most powerful one my favorite of the bunch is the tour it's the most stable one which is important especially since the flexibility of the clash makes the racket slightly different in feel wilson themselves call the clash a control racket but i'm not sure i would agree i think the pro staff is more the control frame of the bunch Instead, I would like to talk about comfort. I think that's that's what they should label it. It's the comfortable line. It's the focus on arm friendliness. And that's the outstanding factor of the Clash rackets. The flexible feel is an acquired taste, but you can't get away from the fact that they're very nice rackets and bring something new to the market with a thick beam and the low flex. The only real downside I found with the tour was that the strings move a lot. So you need to string quite high and stay up on your restringing. Still, one of the best frames released in 2019, a bold new racket that has already found a large following. Finally, some innovation in the racket industry. Head Gravity. 2019 was the year that Head made huge strides towards the feel that most racket nostalgics missed. The new Gravity line brought spiral fibers into the graphene layup and what a difference it was from some of the other graphene frames. Back was the flex and the comfort we knew from head frames of the past, dating back from the Inegra line and, and backwards from that. Head has always been at the top of the game when it comes to connection to the ball and the gravity line took me right back to that. I tried the MP, the Tour and the Pro and I did like all of them, but although the Pro was my personal favorite, I think most players would find the sweet spot in the Tour. It's the most balanced of the gravity rackets and has a little bit of everything. The claim of the gravity was the massive sweet spot and the head shape resembles the round style of the Prince Phantoms. And although it's not exactly as innovative as the Clash, the Gravity Line offered great performance, feel and comfort, and it's just one of the best frames of 2019. Technifiber TF40. Technifiber has never been shy to show their French roots, especially when it comes to their paint jobs with the predominantly blue, white and red. In 2019 they changed their logo and the branding, partly to celebrate their 40 years in business, and with that they released the aptly named TF40. The TF40 is a beautiful mix of an old school and modern frame, the soft feel, blend with crisp power and a tight yet relatively spin friendly string pattern. The TF40 is, is easy to recommend to players looking for something like a softer pure strike, quite easy to use racket with decent power, still manages to find that balance of control and feel as well. Really a brilliant tennis racket, well deserving to be one of the rackets of the year. 
looks really great too with the predominantly white paint job. So thumbs up for the Technifiber TF40. Yonex VCore Pro 97 HD. The Yonex VCore Pro line has always been appreciated by advanced players. Some generations ago there was a so-called HD version meaning high density string pattern aka 1820. This year it came back with the Pro 97 HD. The model landed in between the 330 gram and the 310 gram and it was the best of the bunch. Despite a tight pattern and a stiffness rating below 60 strung, the Pro 97 HD offered good power, some spin too thanks to the isometric head shape. The racket was plush, but still not a noodle. Yes, it's a somewhat low powered racket, but if you can generate your own power, it's simply a must demo, a brilliant frame and one of the best rackets of 2019. Prince Textreme Tour 100, 310 gram. Prince is one of the most steady brands when it comes to the more control oriented frames, their Phantom and Textreme lines are both great examples of thinner beams and plusher string beds that can still work in today's fast paced game. My favorite Prince frame of 2019 was the Textreme Tour 100 310. It wasn't a racket switch specs I would normally go for with the 100 square inch head and a 16 18 string pattern, but the Toron material in the layup created a connected and comfortable feel and the open string pattern still managed to create a penetrating slice. So this was a very well balanced frame for a wide target group, quite easy to use. So well done Prince for the Prince Extreme Tour 100. Angel K7 Lime. Angel is a small brand, but its owner Paul Angel worked as a racket designer for Dunlop for 20 years, developed some legendary rackets in his time. This experience and knowledge has now been moved over to his own brand and the Angel Custom program is really impressive where you can choose your own specs and the quality control is, the one, of the, is one of the best in the business. In 2018, Angel released the K7 Red, a very impressive frame, nice flex, comfortable layup, Aramid to dampen vibrations. In 2019, they released the K7 Lime, an 1820 version, 10 grams more static weight compared to the Red. Very plush, enjoyable to hit with, great for players looking to value precision over power, a bit of lead tape in the hoop and you have an absolute classic in your hands. Definitely one of the best frames of 2019. 10X Excalibur. A positive new player on the racket market is the Australian company 10X who produces control oriented rackets with 20mm beam and a slightly longer length. The 27.5 inches will help to increase swing weight and stability and help you with your contact point on serves. The length might take some getting used to, but the racket performs very well and the uniform flex of the frame made a really nice hitting experience, quite old school with, but with some decent pop. So I'm very curious about what this company can do with the X-Strike, which is their response to the Pure Drive. Talking about Bubblelot, what were they up to in 2019? Well, the new Pure Strike was a positive experience, although I'm a bit disappointed that they persist with the high stiffness ratings and won't consider a proper pure control line, which they had in the past with a lower stiffness rating and a more control oriented string pattern. I understand that it's not always commercially sensible because it's more difficult to sell control oriented rackets these days, but I think it would make sense in their range and would be a logical move. I did like the Pure Strike 100. It was a bit too powerful and dampened for me to use successfully. The comfort was definitely improved though. Uh, I wanted to test the Pure Strike 98 and they were supposed to send it over for a review a few times. Sadly, I never got one and the, the other reviews came in the way, so I haven't yet tried the Pure Strike 98, which is a bit of a shame, and I hope to test this racket soon. I would also like to mention the new Wilson Blade 98 version 7. It was a move again towards a softer, more responsive racket. I thought this was the best blade since the K-Blade. Really impressive in feel. A uh, really nice plush response, um, definitely a more low powered than the countervail version that it replaces. So the new blade is a really nice racket that you should try. All in all, you can see that this was a great year for tennis nerds, uh, probably the best year in a long time when it comes to high quality frames being produced. There's so many good rackets on the market right now. These are my favorites. I'm keen to hear what are yours. And if you have any questions around which racket to choose and what racket would suit your game, we have this racket recommendation service on Tennis Nerd where you can fill in a form, you pay a small amount, and then you get a PDF with our recommendations to you. I hope you like this service. It's been quite popular so far, and I hope you guys give it a try. That's all for this last Tennis Nerd video of 2019. 
Thanks for all the support. I'm really excited about next year. I hope it's gonna be the best one yet. If you have any ideas about content you would like to see on Tennis Nerd, please comment below or write to us via tennisnerd.net. Thanks again and have a great new 2020.